have to pay. Well, we're going to try to knock away some of those fees. Third, there's going to be more competition so that consumers can shop around for the best rates. Right now, some underwater homeowners have no choice but to refinance with their original lender. And some lenders, frankly, just refuse to refinance. So these changes are going to encourage other lenders to compete for that business by offering better terms and rates, and eligible homeowners are going to be able to shop around for the best rates and the best terms. So you take these things together, this is going to help a lot more homeowners refinance at lower rates, which means consumers save money, those families save money, and it gets those families spending it again, and it also makes it easier for them to make their mortgage payments so that they don't lose their home and bring down home values in the neighborhood. And I'm going to keep on doing everything in my power to help to stabilize the housing market, grow the economy, accelerate job growth, and restore some of the security that middle class families have felt slipping away for more than a decade. Now, let me, let me just say this in closing. These steps that I've highlighted today, they're not going to solve all the problems in the housing market here in Nevada or across the country. Given the magnitude of the housing bubble and the huge inventory of unsold homes in places like Nevada, it's going to take time to solve these challenges. We still need Congress to pass the jobs bill. We still need them to move forward on project rebuild so we can have more homes like this and wonderful families having an opportunity to live out the American dream. But even if we do all those things, the housing market's not going to be fully healed until un the un unemployment rate comes down and the inventory of homes on the market also comes down. But that's no excuse for inaction. That's no excuse for just saying no to Americans who need help right now. It's no excuse for all the games and the gridlock that we've been seeing in Washington. People out here don't have a lot of time or a lot of patience for some of that nonsense that's been going on in Washington. If any member of Congress thinks there are no unemployed workers or no down-on-their-luck neighborhoods in their district that would benefit from the proposals in the jobs bill, then they better think again. They should come and talk to the families out here in Nevada. These members of Congress who aren't doing the right thing right now, they still have a chance to take meaningful action to put people back to work and to help middle class families and homeowners like the Bonillas. But we can't wait for that action. I'm not going to wait for it. So I'm going to keep on taking this message across the country where we don't have to uh, wait for Congress. We're just going to go ahead and act on our own. And we're going to keep on putting pressure on Congress to do the right thing for families all across the country. Uh, and I'm confident that the American people want to see action. We know what to do. The question is whether we're going to have the political will to do it. All right? So thank you so much, everybody. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. Thanks for welcoming me to your neighborhood. Thank you.
What a scene. Only in America. Look at this scene. I almost hate to say it, there's nothing really distinct or particular about this neighborhood. This looks like any other Las Vegas neighborhood. But again, the president choosing this backdrop, this symbolic of what exactly uh, the Southwest is going to do, which is a lot of homes that are underwater, a lot of middle class homes that uh, people are going to have to see. Exactly, uh, you know, getting that uh, that experience where um, you know, this is they, they were able to go, basically go through the, uh, uh, the underwater process. They, uh, some people have lost their homes, but uh, this one is still gone. You see the president, so uh, still waving his hand at some of the leaders, but uh, it all comes down now to basically calling out all the people. I'll get some more sound. Oh, is he going to go meet them over there? That's great. Look, he's out of security. <laughs> he doesn't care.